singers go to senior centers, I think, for, for, for different reasons. Here at the York Center, I think a lot of it is due for fellowship, so, socialization, and just to have fun. And we have a great group here. People get along. They work together well. And it's just, we get, the atmosphere is light, and they come in, and they just have a great time. So uh, a lot of it is just to, to get, get away from home. And it gives them a purpose in life, too. And when they come to the center, they get involved with the activities, and it make them feel a part of the community. If anybody's retired and sitting at home, lonely, lonesome, nothing to do, this is the place to come. I like the fellowship. I like the fellowship with me. You know, I, I like to meet new friends. I love the people. They're great. Food is good. But the main reason is the people. Well, being able to fellowship with the seniors here. Whatever is going on, you know, you can be a part of. And you feel productive. We get at the house and meet good friends and learn how to crochet. Here at the York Senior, Senior Center, oh, we have a great time. We have some uh, great singers who come in every day and we do, we do a lot of fun things. Uh, of course, our most favorite activity is bingo. Everybody loves bingo. But not only that, we have fun day, but we um, all play games and um, we win prizes. Uh, we have speakers to come in and talk to us on different subjects and um, they enjoy that because it's informative. We have computer classes, uh, we have our crafters with our um, quilting and our hat, hat projects. We have two projects that we've started here at the center, Cats for Hope and One is for Babies. And it started as a result of our Austin craft classes. And from there, we decided that we were going to start um, doing things for our cancer patients. Um, so we started making hats for them. And then we thought, well, if we do it for the cancer patients, we can, we can do it for our premature babies also. So that's how we came up with Hats for Hope for our hospice patients and bonnets for babies for our premature babies. And that's what been up. It's taken off, and the women are all excited, and they do a fantastic job for us. When I first started, I didn't even look up. Everybody would come by and say, Good morning, Miss Dobby. I said, Fine, how are you? They said, Who do you know you're speaking to? I wouldn't even look up. I was scared I messed up. So now I can look up. When we complete a hat, um, they're taken to the different agencies. We have um, for our bodies for babies, they're at the hospitals like Levine's Children's Hospital or St. Jude's, anywhere that children go for um, medical care. And then for our hats for hope, so far we've taken them to hospice, we've taken them to our assisted living and our um, nursing homes. And uh, we plan to give out some to our homeless centers and all anywhere that a person will need a hat. And we're excited because at Christmas time we already have an order for 100 hats for tender hearts. And, they, and when they buy the toys for the children, they will also include one of our hats as, as one of their gifts. So we're all excited about that. Um, the community has really embraced us and embraced our projects. So we're very thankful. This is one happy family. One happy, happy family. So if you retire, come and join the happy family.